we're here at the uh, Mini Hydro. Um, basically, we've started the wall construction and done the base one Safit wall. And we're at the stage now where we're backfilling around the structure and we'll start blinding tomorrow, ready for the, the next concrete base slab pour. And then we'll be able to start the four and a half metre or 4.7 metre walls to go around the perimeter of the building. And um, that'll allow us to have the majority of the concrete works completed before the end of Christmas. So this is the discharge structure here. It was started construction in around August this year. Uh, we built the discharge structure before we did the rock revetment. So because we wanted to sort of keep a uh, good earth bund between our works and the creek, stop any water coming in. So the water goes over the rock and then into the Burrow Creek, which runs all the way down through to Gugong Reservoir. We bypassed the creek, so we got an eight inch pump, which we set up um, just where bef before where the rock starts, and we pumped water around to downstream of the causeway. So this area was completely dry as we worked, so that just stopped um, any water coming through our works and potentially increasing in turbidity and um, going through and out into a Gugong Reservoir. And we also had a silt curtain downstream of the reservoir in case anything did get through we catch all in any um, sediment. They've been really good, the local community. They wave when they go past and no, they've been really helpful and, and nice. Few have come onto the site just to have a little look. There must be a few engineers, retired engineers around here and I've just shown them what basically we were roughly doing and they're quite excited to see once all the turbines and that go in to see what it looks like. The way this structure is designed is that we cannot take out the formwork for the soffit for this for this roof. So currently there's form uh, scaffold, sorry, holding up the the concrete in the roof, but we couldn't start backfilling until that roof was poured because that gives the structural integrity on the walls so the walls don't collapse with the backfill. So we had to pour the roof first, which sort of braces the walls, and then now that we've poured the roof, we can start coming up with backfill up to the level with the roof pour, or the base of the mini hydro. And so we hope to get it to lock up stage before Christmas, and then Tyco can come in and do the fit out installation of all the turbines and the generator and all the pipe work. And so when they come in, they'll just take the, because it's a precast roof, they can just take the roof off and then fit everything in from the roof, crane it in, and then lock it into place, and then later on, put the roof back on. So that's, a, that's the benefits of the precast roof. You'll have the roof on top, and then the backfill will come all the way up to pretty much nearly level with the roof, and on either side, and the only bit exposed where you can enter will be through the front here, so this front wall will be left open with the two doors, to, and that's where the entrance point will be. It's Movember at the moment, so they're raising uh, awareness for men's health, I think prostate cancer. It's not an easy job, but it's for men's health, so no one can give me a stick about it. <laughs> but my one chance a year that I can get away with growing, trying to grow one for a good cause, otherwise I feel like I'll just look like an idiot. 